Hi, my name is Jack. I study physics at a master's level at Manchester University. My final year project was uh, four back day symmetry in Towns at the LHC, which is to do with high energy particle physics. The three biggest reasons for studying physics at university is that it's a, it's a beautiful, unified and coherent subject. It, you develop into a proper member of the scientific community and also you gain a genuine understanding of nature. I'm going to go into more detail about those three at the end. I studied physics at the University of Manchester for four years. I did master's degree. What did I love about it? I liked all the, I, lo I love the practical stuff in particular because you got to apply the theory you learn in your lectures in a lab environment and develop into a proper scientist. But I liked the more theoretical side when I was doing the, the, the theoretical modules. I liked things like quantum mechanics and the more advanced uh, material to do with gauge theories and things like that, rather than the more applied side like the physics of everyday life module that were available and things like that. Well, the reason I picked it when I was 18 was because I was good at maths and science and I basically had to pick between engineering, physics and mathematics. And I genuinely was more excited for the content in uh, physics than I was in mathematics and engineering. Engineering and mathematics seems like more of the same thing that I'd already learned at A-level, whereas physics seemed like a better continuation that seemed to go beyond A-level rather than just more of it. Well, at the moment, I'm going to teach and see where that takes me. I'm, gonna, I'm a trainee teacher of physics at the moment. Some of them are doing nothing. Some of them are employed at the moment. Some of them are uh, on to uh, doing things with finance and things like that, quite a few of them. Some of them work. In, one of them is a patent attorney or trainee patent attorney, which is the same thing I, Einstein did for a, uh, for a hot minute, I think. One other, I think, has gone into teaching. And then plenty of them have gone into sort of what you would call just normal jobs, you know, sales, things like that, all sorts of things. You learn all sorts of skills, you know, presenting to the interviewers in your laboratory experiments, analysing data, you can do lots of things with it. So the main one I would say is that out of all other subjects you could study, it's probably one of the most unified and coherent subjects. You start off with these strands in A-level and even in first year, they're taught as sort of different subjects. You, you've got mechanics, you have electromagnetism, you have things like quantum mechanics, and they're all different subjects. By the time you get to second and third and fourth year, it starts blending into one big thing. Uh, physics just tends to get more and more unified, and it's not mechanics and you know, heat transfer anymore. They're the same thing. You can use Newton's equations to derive uh, you know, the ideal gas law and things like that. So it all blends into the same thing. And you end up coming out the end of it thinking, I've really learnt something. It's a unified theory to a certain extent. And all these little strands you've picked up come into one bigger rope, essentially, and it just feels satisfying. That's probably one of the, the first main reason I would say that you should study physics. Uh, the second one is sort of a dual reason, and it sort of ties into the first one a little bit. Uh, I'd say it's the combination of gaining a true understanding of nature, or the nature of things in general, which not many other degrees can really do. A lot of them are too specific. You know, in my, in my opinion, it's better to learn about everything universally than just one specific thing. Biology talks about life, which is focus. So if you care very much about life, that's interesting. But if you're interested in nature as a whole, not just life, but the nature of everything, physics has got to be the best for that. And uh, like I'm saying, it's, it's some of the equations and that that you learn, the way they link together it's very satisfying, very beautiful, and I don't think it's all mathematics the way it's beautiful is. An underlying beauty of nature itself. When you're doing your degree, I feel like you learn the theory, and a lot, say if you, say if you just do a maths degree, you learn a lot about mathematical equations and proof, but you're not going to develop into a scientist. By doing a physics degree, you do lots of projects and lab work and things like that, and you develop an intuition of what things will work and what things won't work with different experiments and things like that. And by the end of the third, fourth year, depending on what kind of degree you do, you do feel like you are a scientist and you're not just a poser who's just trying to get a value of G that matches the one the professor gave you. You feel like you actually are finding something out. You're, you're actually exploring. And, you, and the other thing is, if you wanted to read an article about something fundamental in physics that's been discovered recently, you could and you could have a pretty good understanding of it. You become a real sort of member of the scientific community in a way. Obviously you're not a professor or you don't have a doctor or anything like that if you don't pursue it that far, but I still think you could have a conversation with someone and come back afterwards and understand what they're talking about.